Hey guys, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video, and the first video in a series where we're going to be turning this 250 gallon plastic tote into a bait tank. So stick around. Alright guys, like I was saying, this week is the first video in a series where we're going to turn this IBC tote into a bait tank. You probably know there are plenty of different builds all over YouTube where guys have put these together. This is not a new concept, but I'm going to be putting my spin on it and breaking it down into weekly segments. That way those of you that might be jumping in only needing a bitter piece of the uh, build process can get what you need rather quickly. Today we're going to be covering two things. One was intentional and the other was not. So uh, the unintentional one, to start us out, the handle to this IBC tote, plastic handle that opens and closes the drain valve, separated itself from the rest of the drain. The drain valve to this tank is locked into closed position. So I'm going to show you how I got that valve open up and then we're going to convert that valve over from the two inch drain to something more easily worked with, which is the three quarter inch thread of a garden hose. We're gonna be able to hook a garden hose up to this anytime we need to drain some water off, get that out. If you have this in your garage, you don't have to flood your garage floor, you can run it out to the yard. So we're gonna start off with how I got the valve to open up, and then I'll show you how to put the adapter together. Come on. All right guys, the drain valves on these IBC totes, fairly simple in operation handle opens and closes that cam allows water to drain from the tank. The shaft is what makes this whole thing function and it goes through an opening located in the drain body. And in order to get that cam out we have to first remove this shaft. So we'll start off by using a butane torch or a lighter to heat the end of a screw. You're going to want to get this very hot. And now while the screw is hot, press it into the end of the valve shaft. If you have clearance with a small screwdriver, you can actually get a couple of good turns afterwards. It may not be necessary. Now in order to remove the shaft, it has to be driven towards the top of the tank. To help us accomplish this, place a nail puller or pry bar under the head of the screw. While holding pressure on the pry bar, strike the side of it with a hammer. This will release the valve shaft. You may have to give it a few good strikes with the hammer in order to move it. You can now use pliers to remove the valve cam from the drain, and we can discard the cam. We won't need this anymore. Once this is done, drive the shaft back into the drain until fully seated. And once you have the tank in the vertical position, epoxy over the top of the shaft to prevent any leaks. Make sure you don't lose this part if you have to drive out your valve like I did. But let's go ahead and now let's work on putting the adapter together that's going to take that two inch drain and turn it into a garden hose fitting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the parts we'll be using to build this adapter. You're going to need a two inch female threaded to two inch slip PVC fitting, a two inch male slip to three quarter inch female threaded bushing, a three quarter inch male NPT to garden hose valve. You will need PVC primer and PVC cement, and you're going to need some Teflon tape. Start off by applying primer to the slip side of the fitting as well as to the bushing. Now apply cement to the inside of the fitting. Apply more cement to the outside of the bushing itself. And slide the bushing into the fitting until fully seated. Now 
Apply Teflon tape to the three-quarter MPT threads of the drain valve. And begin installing the valve into the threaded bushing. Go slow at this beginning part so that you don't mess up your Teflon tape or cross-thread the fitting. Use a wrench to complete the tightening process if necessary. Now install the adapter onto the tank drain with the outlet pointing down. To drain the tank, simply attach a hose and open the valve. Close the valve and remove the hose when finished. Alright guys, well that's going to bring us to the end of the first segment of our bait tank build. We've got a functioning drain that we can now hook up a garden hose to, run the hose off wherever we need it, drain the water out during water changes, and uh, not make a mess in the floor. Next week we're going to be doing a lot of cutting on this thing. We're going to get it cut open. It's going to start to look like a bait tank. So be back next Saturday. We'll work on that part together. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, check me out for the first time. Guys, I try to post a fishing or boating related tip or trick video every week. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're a DIYer, hit that subscribe button and that little bell next to it. That way you don't miss any videos. Hope you enjoy this project series as we move along with it. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.